Welcome to our historic home house tour. Come on in. It's time playing tricks on us. The way that we're moving, the days feel like hours to me. Okay, so I kind of realized that we haven't done a full house tour since we have moved in. I gave you guys kind of the empty house tour originally when we first arrived, but that was before we had put any furniture in and painted and did a bunch of stuff. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a walkthrough. You'll see that some of the rooms have been finished, some of the rooms have not been touched. Other things are kind of in the in-between, but we'll give you kind of a, an update of where we're at and give you the full decorated tour, okay? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you haven't. Oh, and question of the video. What's your favorite room of my house that I'm gonna show you? You kind of have to watch part of this video in order to answer that, but make sure you comment your favorite room. Is it down here? Is it the nursery? Is it the bedroom? Is it a room that we haven't even touched yet? You're just really excited to see what it's gonna be? I don't know, leave your comment below. Okay, so here in the entryway, the biggest change is obviously we painted. This was a very dark part of the house. We had all of the wood trim was a really kind of dark espresso color. So in typical Shara fashion, you know me, I wanted to brighten this space up because for me, having a bright airy home is so important for my mental health, just for my creativity, my general happiness. I just love light. So I wanted to brighten it up in here. We painted the trim, we added this beautiful mirror here. This is the anthropology mirror. I'm sure a lot of you have recognized this or seen this around. This was a big open wall, it was kind of empty and I love how it just kind of like opens up this space and best of all, it reflects this beautiful staircase that we also painted. So this handrail used to be the dark like mahogany, dark espresso color. We actually got them to hand sand it, which was quite the process because there's so many grooves and details and then they went ahead and actually sealed it with a wax that's like a matte wax. I have this great seating situation right here. This chair is from Article. You guys will see in this house, we have a mixture of things from Article, things that are found or things that are from different places, but I will be sure to link everything that I can in this video below. So if you're interested in anything you see, be sure to click that link. Okay, let me take you into the living room. Oh, how much brighter and better and just more cozy does this space look? I absolutely love this room. I love how light and bright it is. The bones of this house are really traditional. All the molding, the windows, the window panes, the flooring. You'll notice the flooring in here is just like so beautiful and intricate, the way the floors are laid. This house is 100 years old, so they just don't make it like this anymore. They don't put the blood, sweat, and tears into these homes the way they used to. I really wanted my interiors to reflect the time period of the house while infusing my personal style, which is more of a California casual, Scandinavian, a little bit of a modern twist to it. So how did we do that? We brought in some lower to the ground modern furniture. We have this kind of Persian style rug, but it's in the creams and the blues and kind of these earth tones that kind of fit that California vibe. This art print is actually from Minted. I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions about it. I love how big it is. I love that it's a canvas, a stretched canvas with a wood frame. And then speaking of art, look at this. This is a frame TV. This is not art, but it looks like art. Isn't that so cool? As an interior designer, it's my best friend, truly, because it allows for you to have a TV in the middle of the room, which is what most people want, most Americans want, but it looks like art when it's off. And then Tyler, this last Christmas, found this company that makes these frames. You can get modern frames, you can get farmhousey frames, you can get traditional frames, and you put this big frame on top of the TV and it truly disguises it like perfectly. Huge winner. Love this TV. These are some of my favorite chairs, okay? I love the backs of these chairs. They're just so sleek and casual and comfortable. My father-in-law, shout out to you, Pete, spilt 
his chocolate ice cream all over this and it actually cleaned up well. You can't even tell where it happened. He's forbidden to eat chocolate ice cream popsicles in my living room from here on out. No, just kidding. I actually let him eat them in here again. I just made him put a napkin on. He has to wear a bib. I would like to say I'm kidding, but I actually think we did make him wear a bib. And I just think that this space is transformed by just like the warm colors of the furniture. The layout is that great conversational area layout we talk a lot about. And then of course, the window treatments. Now let me tell you something about my window treatments. They are Ikea curtains. If you look closely, you can tell that they're really cheap, but from far away, they don't look that bad. Eventually I will get new window treatments in here, but you know what, for the time being, I just haven't changed anything about them. And I think that they're good enough. And sometimes you mix the really high quality stuff, like high quality furniture, rugs, art, and then you can go budget on things that are basics. We store all of Sawyer's toys in this bad boy. In fact, we're making a video of how I've organized our household goods in these sideboards all around the house. I just love using these types of pieces of furniture because they're amazing for organization and you can accessorize on top. It's not just a basic bin that just floats around your house. It's a sturdy piece of furniture that fills the space and then provides a platform for you to accessorize, which I think is a win-win. We updated these uh, sconces, which are much more modern, but still very traditional. And then through here, we kept the original light fixtures in here into the dining room. Ta-da! Okay, so we got a new dining table. You may not have seen this yet. This dining table was built by hand by our friends at Primrose Lifestyle. They make the most beautiful handmade furniture. They can do any kind of table, coffee table, side table, desk. They make beds, like they make a lot of really great stuff and their stuff is really great quality. And you know it's not like me to lean into this dark colored furniture, but I took a risk and I'm really happy I did because this traditional style table mixed with this like casual rattan woven chair, I think perfectly meshes my two styles where I have the traditional and kind of the California Scandinavian vibe. I did six of the same chair here, and then I also did this roller chair, which is really fun. It's upholstered, and it has arms, and it has a little skirt on the bottom, which I actually really like. Over here, we have the same sconces as the other room. I actually stole this table from my mom. She was gonna get rid of it, because it's actually kind of broken. I need to fix it, but I like the way it looks. And then in here is my office. So in this space, we have my desk here, my desk chair. I love this rug. This rug is from Article. And as you guys can tell, whenever I talk about Article, you know that I love it because I've used it for, I don't know, four or five years now, I think. Like when you find a brand you really love, you just stick with them because they're really great. They ship anywhere to the US and Canada and their flat rate shipping is $49, but if your order is over $9.99, so $999, your shipping is free. And they do contactless delivery, but they also can do in-home deliveries now. So kind of whatever package you want, you can tailor that. It's really great if you have a small space. Obviously we have a larger home now, but a lot of their stuff is modular. So if you move or if you have a smaller space, that's how I found them, you can customize the furniture you want to the size that you need. So I think that's a huge plus. Over here, I have a little sitting area. I just love this sofa. I love having a sofa in this space. When I'm working, I can sit there and work. I can come here and read, or I can work from my phone or my laptop, and it's just like a nice place to relax. Over here is my little bookcase. So this used to be an outdoor screened in porch that they made into a room. These used to be windows that they made into a bookcase before we moved in. And you know me, I love a good built-in. So this was my little built-in moment. This fireplace is actually cool. You guys remember this from the empty house tour. Tyler loved this little guy and he loved this fireplace. And you know what? I actually didn't like it at first. It's not that like I didn't like the color. I actually loved the style and color. I just hate that it's in the corner, but I've come to love it. And I don't think we're gonna move it or change it or anything. So he won, he won one. Let's all remember, Tyler did win a design decision. <laughs> Okay, let me take you guys into the kitchen. So here we have our lovely kitchen. So this was actually an add-on. It used to stop, so I'll back you up a little bit. Right here, 
And the original homeowner, when they owned the house, they actually added on this kitchen and they added on the master bedroom wing. And I'm so happy that they did because that little room that y'all were just in, that was the original kitchen, which is very small. I don't know when this video will be going up, but I just did a video about the phases of renovating this kitchen and how we did redo this island area here and added some new furniture. This is our little breakfast nook on this side, also from Article, which is great. But I also go into detail about my kid stools, my toddler tower and the high chair that we love. So if you guys are interested in any of those items, I'll be sure to link them, as well as these bar stools are from a local company in San Diego. But yeah, I think this kitchen is so beautiful as is, but there are things I wanna to do to it to make it our own. And the first step in doing that was redoing this island, which I love. I love a good butcher block moment. It is a lot to take care of, but it looks really nice. Okay, let's go into the master suite, the master wing over here, and then I'll take you guys upstairs. Let's go. So the original house used to end right here. All the bedrooms are upstairs in this house, so they wanted a first floor master, so they added this on. I have my linen storage here, and the bedroom here. I have like a living room in my bedroom. Isn't that insane? So we have this great four poster bed. This room was huge. I feel like it really could handle a big four poster bed. This bed is from Living Spaces and I think they discontinued it. I don't know why because I think it's so beautiful, but you could try looking on their website to see if you can find it again. I have my little makeup vanity right here. Got this from Target and my old mirror. And you guys, if you've seen my video from in here before, we used a lot of stuff from our old house in this space. We really haven't done a ton of new stuff in here. I, I will say I have two new things, one of which is this rug and these chairs. These boucle chairs are some of my favorites because they swivel all the way around. I almost put these in the living room, but I wanted leather. They didn't make these in leather. And then this is also, remember that I told you I had that sofa in leather? This is the leather version. And people ask me all the time, how does it handle with Scout? Because she jumps all over it. Scout has never ruined it, but you can see if you look closely, like there are imperfections, there are scratches, but that's just what happens to leather. And I think it just makes it, gives it character and makes it look really nice. This is a sideboard, kind of a drawer dresser situation we got from Article for all of Tyler's stuff. I love these leather poles. I think they have this in a different color, like a darker wood too. But I love that it has drawers and it has a door puts all of his hats in here. But I just think it's a great size, really sturdy, and I love the leather poles. And then y'all remember these bookshelves. How could you forget? One day, my plan in here is actually to move these bookshelves out of here, do picture frame molding around this whole bedroom, and to kind of reconfigure a few things. But I'm gonna have this baby first and take a break, and then I'll think about that project. Okay, let me take you guys upstairs. Let's go back to the entryway, show you that space. I think we covered it all in here, right? Did I miss anything? Oh, one day I will update the stained glass. I can't keep it because my brother pointed out it looks like boobs. But again, we're always living in the in-between, and sometimes you just have to find joy in the in-between and learn to love it, right? All right, let's go upstairs. I love this staircase. This is like my favorite view. You can see how beautiful the floors are and you get to see this whole beautiful banister. Alexa, close the shade in the stairwell. Ta-da! Apparently this is gonna help moderate the temperature in the stairwell because it is very warm. So you come up here and the first bedroom we have is the guest bedroom. There's not much to update you here. You guys have seen this room. I have plans to make it great. This is, this is our work in progress room and it's also kind of where things go to be dumped, like this light fixture for Brody's room. I'm working on the nursery right now and this light fixture is gonna be in the middle of his room, but it's staying in here because you'll see in Brody's room, it's a little chaotic. And one day I'll make this room fabulous too. But for now, this is our guest room and it is what it is. Okay, let me show you Sawyer's room, because last time that room was not ready when we did the upstairs tour. And here we are in Sawyer's room. Ta-da! 
So, you guys have seen this nursery before. I love how this room turned out. We shiplapped this wall vertically and painted it green. And on this wall, I did a really cool peel and stick wallpaper, which I think adds so much to the texture and just like the style of this space, adds some personality. Love this little moment here. I've talked about a lot of the items here, but if you're interested in any of the things you see in this room, I'll try to link them in the description below. I have all of his books. I found these little bookshelves actually on Amazon and I think they turned out really cute. Just kind of holds all the books that we have in my little rocking chair, which tip to all the moms out there, go for the comfy rocking chair, not the cute rocking chair. This is the comfy one. The cute one is in my office. Ultimately, you're not gonna wanna sit in the cute one, you're gonna wanna sit in the comfy one, that's just life. Okay, the bathroom up here has not changed. Quick review, it's green, it's outdated, it needs to be demoed, and it will be next year. And last but not least, hello! What are you doing in here? This is where I was banished to. So this is where Brody's gonna live. You can tell it's a work in progress. It was a guest room. We have a crib. We have the most adorable baby clothes. Thank you, Trizia. Finn and Vince for the sale you had that was buy one, get one free. Tyler doesn't really like that you did that, but I love that you did that. And anyway, this room's gonna be great, and I'll show it to you when it's done. But that's where Brody's gonna be. Okay, and then we have the second staircase. So this goes directly down to the kitchen. Some of you might be lost. It is easy to get lost around here, but we're gonna go down to the kitchen, then we're gonna go down to the basement and see the playroom, and then we'll finish out on the porch. Let's go. Now this was actually here when we first moved in. Isn't that crazy? Laguna Beach is right down the street from where I lived in San Diego. Okay, come this way. Tyler has his little desk. This is, poor Tyler, he gets a corner for his office. We're gonna redo it down here, but for now, we have a great desk and a great chair. I believe this desk is also from Article, and this chair, actually. And the paper shredder is probably from Office Depot. And now our playroom. So this space has evolved over time, but we definitely use it all the time. Sawyer has all the toys, the climbing gym, we have the Mix fitness bike, which we use on occasion. I haven't used it in quite a while. And I love it down here because we have a sofa. I think if you have the ability to put seating in a playroom, it makes it much more enjoyable for parents because you have a place to sit and you're not always on the floor, especially if you're pregnant. I can like lay here and watch Sawyer while he plays. He can bring me his little food concoctions that he makes in his kitchen and I can pretend to eat them. The carpet is green. We have not replaced the carpet. It was like this when we moved in. It hides probably a lot of messes that both Sawyer and Scout commit, so I'm kind of good with it. It looks clean and it's in good condition, so we're just gonna roll with the dark green. Okay, let's go to the porch. Whew. And now this is where we relax in the warm summer nights, listen to the cicadas chirp. I love these rocking chairs, they're also from Article. The benches, Tyler built from scratch on his own bare hands, which are pretty cool, the swinging benches. And I just think it's so great out here. All right, let's go back into the living room and we'll say our goodbyes. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I hope that you guys love it. Don't forget to leave me your comments below as far as what room was your favorite and why. It could be a room that's done, it could be a room that I haven't even touched. You're just excited to see it transform. Anyway guys, I'm tired. I need some water. I did a lot of walking, okay? <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to Article. Anything you guys may have seen in this particular video, uh, make sure that you check the description box below. I will try to link it all for you. And go follow on Instagram if you wanna see this baby because he's on the outside by the time you all see this video. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, Tyler, can you help us and unlock the door? Anybody? Scout! It's a big house, nobody can hear me.